All right, so I'm going to do a repotting demonstration of a terribly root down, root bound plant. This is a pomelo from seed that was left out all winter. It hasn't been repotted in years, terribly root bound. And I'm going to put into that container. I've got a little mix made, 5-1-1. And I'm going to cut off the bottom of the root ball and see if I can kickstart it into growth. A quick note about perlite also. This is good perlite. This is what you want. Coarse grade, large perlite, hardly any dust. This stuff, you can find at most Home Depots, etc., is garbage. It needs to be sifted and rinsed to get the dust off. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's take a look at this root ball. It's going to be incredibly healthy, but also root bound. Okay, yep. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The roots are healthy. They smell like citrus, but obviously they weren't taking up water or nutrients very well. So let's just move that out of the way. Okay. So. When you have a situation like this, don't mess around trying to untangle roots. I just get a knife, a gardening knife like this hoary, and I'm going to take off roughly one third of the root mass, just like that. With a healthy tree, you can be pretty brutal with the root pruning. You may need pruners to kill some massive roots. That have gotten too woody. Just keep working at it. And of course, you always want to have your potting ingredients ready to go to ease the transition. Oh, yeah, you can hear a lot of those massive roots in there. Probably should have gotten a saw. In progress. Look at that. Tons of roots all throughout the mix. Smells great. So there's definitely life. Oh yeah. And there you have it. Look at that root mat. You can see over here. Pinky thick root. bonsai screen to cover the drain holes. Keep that.
<clears throat> All right. So now that you have the major pruning done, you can loosen up the outer edges. You make some gentle slits like that. Don't do too many. By cutting, you'll increase the amount of root branching, the root hairs, at those cut sites. And again, if the tree's fairly healthy, it won't even mind. Okay, so. That's about perfectly at the right height. And then what I'll do is work some fresh potting mix down around the outsides of that root ball. I'll force them down with a stick with my tool just to make sure that there's no air gaps. So again, you're just gonna work that new mix tightly down in to stabilize the tree and then put it into a recovery location. Not direct sun, no wind, especially important if it has leaves on it. And then tonight when it gets cold, I'll put this guy in the greenhouse to recover. That's it.